Well, in court, the 18-year-old Rogers pled not guilty to two counts of rape. The time being, he is also suspended from the football team, too. The first alleged victim filed a police report back in October. The second victim came to police in February, but both allegations stem from the fall. Then on April 5th, Tybo Rogers was arrested and immediately posted bail of $150,000 for each case. In November, one of the women posted on Instagram writing that she was raped by Rogers. She says it happened after she agreed to go on a date with him at her apartment. That first alleged victim also filed a Title IX complaint against Rogers in late November, and Rogers was suspended from the team during the Pac-12 championship game, although he did return and play in the college football playoff, including the national championship game in January. He faces second-degree rape, which is punishable up to life in prison, and also third-degree rape, which is punishable up to five years behind bars. This was Rogers' first appearance in court. Reporting in Seattle, Drew Andre, King 5 News.